All right, welcome everyone. Dave, if you watched yesterday or been aware, I'm I'm doing Captain Power this week. I've got a pretty good collection of them. Uh, this one, I've got a lot of stuff, a lot more than I have any reason to for something that was only a thing for six or eight months. <laughs> Evidently, I was all in on this. There, uh, it was. I thought it was a really cool concept, and I just knew it was going to be a hit, and it's going to be last forever, and they'd still be broadcasting that show. But I was wrong. <laughs> I think it, they only ever made is a. For those who don't know, it was a interactive TV show that came. You you could buy the toys and shoot at the screen, sort of like Duck Hunt or Light Gun game. And the, the toy would keep track of your score and the different colors on the screen were the different difficulty levels and how many points you get for them. And you could, it's, it was very, let's say, to an 80s kid, it just sounded like the best thing in the world. Or to me, anyway, and this 80s kid anyway. <laughs> uh, these are, they were, I was surprised how good, I actually, like I said, I've got, a lot of the weaponry and accessories and vehicles and you know I said those will be coming through the week. Let's see this guy just sort of snapped on here and here it's sort of a it's you can tell it's plastic but it's a highly rubberized plastic so it's real forgiving and this thing it actually is designed to be wielded underneath and it's sort of locked in place there This guy, he had a uh, more standard rifle. It actually, in a, what I really thought was cool at the time, I don't think I'd seen this. It's got that little Y, and it, it just went right into the stock, went right into his arm. But that was neat. And uh, had his glider jetpack thing. Like I say, another, it's the rubberized plastic. It's real forgiving. Uh, so that's them in their full regalia, I guess. And I actually also did have the their info cards. Uh, something interesting on these. I, I was evidently planning on keeping these because I, co I coated, I didn't laminate them, but I coated them in contact paper. <laughs> $4 $3 uh, $4.68. Target, of course, is still around, but it, Hills. Okay, I can get it. That was the local, one of our local Nashville department stores. And the thing I remember more about them more than anything is they would set up toy displays in the toy aisle. They would like, had old school, like it had like Star Wars scenes with the, I, th I remember them having Dagobah and the X-Wing fighter, like, and they, they, it wasn't, it was a pit of sponges or something, but they made it look like a really good Dagobah. Or they, and you know, for Hoth, they had the cotton balls and the, the air speeders and all that stuff. Uh, it was, you know, the fishing line suspended, but they, they went all out. And it was, you know, something that, you know, I still remember, it's been, let's see, I think they shut down in like 91, 92, somewhere through there. I could, I'll have to, I'll have to get on, get online and check. But that's, you know, they've been closed a really long time, but the, the, those, I still have fond memories of it, and they had a snack bar too. <laughs> okay, but uh, anyway, for the this guy, he's Major Matthew Hawk Masterson. He's a soldier of the future, airstrike leader. His military background is only survivor Earth Force Air, Earth Forces Air Assault Unit, expert on all tactical air weapons. Characteristic: determined and deadly. Battle trained in all forms of air combat. Known weaknesses: experiences in energy lapses in battle due to the, due to human condition known as age. A term for life forms whose lifespan is not immortal. Wear down strategy is recommended. Major tactical weapon is the ion blaster. Special feature: removable turbo wing and turbo jet wing and thruster unit. Military insignia: UAA, United Air Assault Emblem from the Earth from the Earth Force. A reminder of, of his, a reminder to his service in the Metal Wars. Current status remains at large. Dangerous. Attack on sight. 
Warning, power suit greatly enhances strength. Do not underestimate. But that was a... Uh, you know, that's typical 80s bluster. And this one, I see, yes, $3.99 at Target. And well, evidently, I don't know how this got <laughs> delaminated. But this sort of... I, I, that, maybe, I guess when I cut it, I was trying to make it e easy and even or something. I don't know. There's the Captain Power emblem <laughs> and the soldiers of the future. But anyways, the this one is Lieutenant Michael Tank Ellis, his strategic rank, soldiers of the future, ground assault specialist, military background, background Metal Wars veteran, served in the Earth Force Ground Assault Corps, Uses one-man army tactical strategy. Characteristics resourceful, strong, known to destroy second-level warlord class bio dreads by hand. Known weakness, overconfident, and impulsive. Traits common in humans. Often acts before processing data. Use entrapment strategy. Major tactical weapon, proton blaster, military insignia, insignia, UGA, United Ground Assault Corps, emblem from the Earth Force, reminder to his service in the Middle Wars. Current status, extremely hazardous. Attack on sight. Warning, power suit greatly enhances strength. Do not underestimate. Like I say, that's, that's the two, two of the, the guys. I don't... I'll have to see if there's a catalog or something showing how many of them there were. I don't know. If, I think there were just the three good guys and a couple of bad guys. There weren't, like I say, they didn't have time to roll out many people. Uh, oh, wait a second. That, that's got a... Oh, it's got a place to... The <laughs> I just noticed this. Uh, remembered, noticed. This locks in there. Okay, so he's... That's how his gun, his weapon's supposed to be mounted. Cool. <laughs> but anyway, that's the first two of the Captain Powers people. Uh, well, like I say, I've got enough to make it through the week, and this will be the only week of Captain Power, because I don't have any more than that. <laughs> But anyways, folks, thanks for watching. If you're digging what I'm doing, make sure and subscribe because this is going to keep going for a while yet. See you next time.